Hey guys, Blake here with another video. Uh, real quick one today, I just wanted to show you how you can save a bit of cash and make your own uh, bre breeder boxes or fry savers. Um, this is what they can typically look like. This is a mesh version. There are also plastic ones, but um, I'm just going to show you how you can make one from simple supplies you probably have lying around or you can easily pick up at um, most hardware stores or um, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. So what we do is we just start with a normal container. Um, try to get one with a bit of depth. Uh, usually helps but it depends what you're going to keep. So killifish and all that probably don't require that much depth but anyway I'm sure you'll be able to figure out what depth container you need. Just get your trusty drill um, and you just drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. Don't go too close to the edge um, because we're going to need a bit of room there. And I just drill about just drill about a dozen holes or so. Um, you can't really drill too many or too little for this and the hole size doesn't really matter if you if you do have um, a smaller drill bit just drill a few more holes or whatever it's just just really to get um, water flowing through the bottom so as well um, if you are bothered you can put them in the side for sure um, I would like to but I just don't want to waste all my super glue today so I'm actually, I need a fair few of these right now, so um, I'm just going to do the bottom today. I might do the sides another time. So then what we do is you just get a piece of fly screen. So fly screen you can buy um, fairly cheaply in a massive roll. Um, one roll will probably make hundreds of these things, so you don't need very much. You could also just sort of pinch it off a window or have a look on um, on your second hand sort of sites for um, fly screen so um, I've just cut a piece to fit um, just to save time but yeah so you just take a normal piece of fly screen this is uh, the smallest grade I could find so they do come in different um, grid sizes obviously we're keeping baby fish in here so we want the fish to not go through the bottom so um, I think it's probably got different names depending on where you go but this was called uh, Mosquito Guard or something like that. And then basically what we do is we just get some gel super glue. Um, if you are concerned and you don't know already, gel super glue is perfectly safe for aquariums. Just make sure it um, sets before you use it. And just run a line of super glue um, all the way around your holes. It doesn't have to be too pretty, I mean, it kind of depends on what you want from it, but for me this is just going to most likely get used a couple of times and then get lost, so I'm not too concerned about it. So we've just got a continuous line of super glue there, and you want it to be continuous because if you do leave a gap, there is, I guess, potential that a fry will sneak under there and out through your holes. And then it's as simple as just laying the fly screen on top. Um, and I just push it down with my finger around the edge just to make sure that the super glue is contacting it all. And you can tell fairly obviously because it does go pretty flat. Um, I have tried this with liquid super glue and it wasn't as good at all just because um, the fly screen moved around a lot so you just couldn't really get an idea um, of if it was fully stuck so that's showing up on video I can see there so you can see continuous um, continuous bead of super glue if you really wanted to once again you could sort of trim all this off but uh, just because there's a fair bit on this one I'll probably trim it off just so nothing gets stuck underneath um, but usually I don't mind a bit of excess that's okay all right, and then what we want to do is make this float. So obviously cutting holes in the bottom, it's going to take on water. It's not going to float anymore. So there's two options. 
Um, I have a heap of this lying around. This is just yoga mat because um, all my tanks I sit it on this. Uh, this will float, so you can either super glue this on the side, or um, sure if you've ever got a delivery of plants or fish or whatever, you'll have a bit of styrofoam, so um, you can also use that. And all you do is you just glue it like under the handles, super glue in both of those spots there, and it will stick. I'm just going to do it very quickly because I've noticed um, that my phone's about to run out of battery. And it's purely because I said I'll do it in one take. Stuck on there. You don't need to use very much um, and you just want to sort of find a flat, a flat side just to get as much contact as you can. So this one I'll use the styrofoam and here are some others I prepared earlier I feel like I'm on a TV sales uh, morning show and I'll just stick the yoga mat on these ones um, consider the thickness you want to use. In hindsight these are probably a bit thick because they're going to make it float so that the water line is about there which actually that might be, I might use this one for killifish ones because then they might not be able to jump out the top or I can use this for my better fry so that's what I mean about a bit less excess so I wouldn't cut that off because I doubt that a fish is going to get under there so anyway that's how you make some quick DIY fry catches and you'll be able to breed all your fish and keep the fry alive in no time so hope you enjoyed if you did please like subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll catch you on the next one thanks